Ladies and gentlemen, Kikim, you are welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading to die. Market is down about 0.13%. Dyer on the SNS at 0.2%. Semiconductor 0.7%. Dow, Green, Russell 2000, Transport, Banks, Flat, Energy, Biotech, Healthcare, Home Builders, Utilities. Some of these guys are green to that Bitcoin down. Gold, Silver, Miners are up. Dollar, Flat, Oil down. Treasure, Bond up. Uh, VIX is down about 3%. They are less stable than 75 under ETF. Spider! 65 minutes are here. So this is where we close yesterday. It looks like we actually saw a down gap this morning here. As you can see, this is where we closed yesterday. We opened right here. You can see uh, on the first hour with that down gap, uh, there's a little bit of fluctuation on the first hour. But as you can see, as we talked about on the last night's analysis, the micro term moving average is supporting the bulls here. So you can see that lower wick here on the first hour. Captured by the micro term, propped the price back up. Pretty much grinded all day here. Uh, pretty much uh, kind of a flat sort of type of day second hour third hour fourth hour fifth hour we came back down on the sixth hour yet again the micro term moving average is right there to uh, capture that down move so pretty much uh, it's been lethargic sideways sort of type of day today that 398 399 level continues to act as that uh, pivotal level here in the last to trading days here so some of these levels obviously uh bears are seeking to see this level break uh keep in mind 398 is the level where that short-term moving average is currently residing last time here you can see we can observe this it's very very similar this price section right here is very similar price section to this Perfect. right so you can see that micro term moving average acting as support here and then this market kept going higher and you see that micro term also capturing that down move and then finally we did break here right here on this day we did break below the micro term but you see that short term moving average you see that green dotted moving average right there that short term moving average was right there to get this market up another day or two and then we see that finally two days of downturn so uh, it looks very similar even that you know this kind of little volatility we saw right here similar to what we're going through right now a couple of trading sessions here so i think that short term if that micro term moving average is lost here uh definitely that short term moving average is the next level of support to uh keep an eye on let's check out that oscillator so as you can see, um, that oscillator has curled down. So as I zoom in here a little bit, and I kind of want to compare to a sort of uh, this price action right here, right? This price action right here, because that price action is very similar the way the oscillator is uh, behaving, yes? As you can see right there, right? Very, very similar. And you can even see that right on this day, like this is kind of where it closed here on that day. You see that kind of a doji candle above that micro term moving average. Well, same thing is, similar thing is happening here, right? Uh, that micro term moving average, couple dojis here. So, um, and with the mic, with that oscillator, Hitting that overbought zone here, hitting that overbought zone here, right? And then we're witnessing the oscillator resetting here. Reset. So basically, basically what's going on right now is after bulls have pushed it up for several days here, bulls need to rest. So that oscillator got all the way to the top of his band. It needs to reset. Bulls are resting and bears are trying to find uh any kind of opening here to attack the bulls so i think i think if we do see sort of a downturn tomorrow morning i think that 398 
you know, 398 is a level similar to what we saw right here, the short term moving average, right? And if we do break below that short term moving average with strength to the downside, um, there is no real known support until 393. And that's where that pivotal level right here, as you can see, that swing high here, that support right here. So that 393 coinciding with the my midterm moving average. Perfect. So 393 is much, much stronger support. I'm saying is bull if bulls want to squeeze a couple more days of bullish run to the upside, they need to find support 398. Uh, 399 or so. I'm gonna come back for you. We'll reassess the situation. Enjoy your evening. Go train tomorrow.